Okay, so Nadine Robbins has got something new on the horizon. So I asked her to drop by and tell me all about it. Hi, Nadine. Hi, how are you, John? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Just finished a painting today, so I'm feeling really good. And uh, I appreciate you taking the time to um, talk with me today about uh, this new video that I created. Yeah, so tell me it's, tell me all about it. Okay, sounds good. Um, well, uh, let me sort of set this story a little bit uh, about how it came about. Um, I think something like maybe about four years ago, I met Ayla, who is um, her, the eye that I painted. I met her because she was doing a video for me and we remained friends since then. And I went to a party last summer uh, where there was like 30 women all having a good time. And I didn't really know too many people because I was there to photograph everyone. And there's Ayla. And then there was a few other people that I knew. So it was a uh, good fun. And I took pictures, you know, all day. And one of the last pictures I took was of Ayla, which is going to be my next portrait. I thought it was a really great photo. Uh, so, to work so Nadine's from. holding up a really nice photograph of this. Oh, woman. yes. That's for those of you that are seeing the Zoom. Um, it's my next portrait, which is going to be bigger than what I usually work. Um, so anyway, so I take this picture. And one of the things that I started to do recently is do more studies of every part of the painting, like the eyes, the nose, the hands, you know. And I think it gives not think, I know it gives me so much more confidence going into the final painting. And normally I don't. And so fast forward to a few other things, it occurred to me, well, listen, all of us artists, we all struggle at times financially, if you think about it. And I wanted to be able to paint and have an art practice without necessarily always worried about money. And I've thought about, you know, uh, Patreon and some of the other um, crowdfunding type of sites. And although they work, each one of them has pros and cons. And so anyway, so I decided that I was going to start recording everything that I've done or always do, which I've done for short form video, you know, little clips. We all do it for reels and TikTok or whatnot. But I wanted to do some long form video. And so I've decided that I'm taking on my, I'm going to be um, shooting video of everything that I do in here, studies, final paintings, all in long form, and then be able to put them together on a community, uh, in a community, um, I'm going to be using Podia to host what are very, very large files. We're talking like 20 gigs worth of visuals. And um, I'm really excited. I can host the high-res files there. And I want to create a community kind of, you know, really outside of social media. It does not have to be big, but I made these videos. Um, I'm going to price them really low so that people have access to it. And um, what this video is, um, is uh, four hours of me painting the eye, just her eye. And I have the painting here. Yep, so very nice. Really if you're listening, <laughs> it's very good. Thank you. Yes, yes. Well, you know, I have it plastered all over my social media. So you can clearly go see what the eye looks like. Um, so I start off with like a brief intro. Then I talk about my supplies and I go into the block-in and the block-in is all, you know, live for about an hour. And then the rest, about two hours is of me painting the finest of details until it's finished. And I occasionally come in there and talk a little bit and some groovy music throughout it all. Um, <clears throat> Uh, let's see. And and so, yes, I take it to the finish. And I actually had to make that part of the video uh, a little faster because so it's not real time because I paint really slowly. 
and I would lose everybody. They would just fall asleep watching me paint so slow. So I, I, I made it a little faster and, and no one would know. It looks like I'm painting rather slowly, yet it's already, you know, double time. Um, anyway, so yeah, I, I, the whole project is being called uh, Painting My Way because I don't want people to think that this is an oil painting 101 type of video. Um, there are lots of those and they're great. I've watched plenty myself. Uh, what I wanted to be able to do is show the type of work and style and technique that, that I do. Um, because I think that there's a bit of a mystery with hyperrealism, or at least my type of hyperrealism, which looks really real, but when you get up close, it's not a photo at all. And I my community on TikTok actually brought it up to me that they felt that they could not get an education when it came to realism or photorealism, hyperrealism, when they're in school, high school, or in college, because it's frowned upon. And that makes me really crazy whenever I hear that. And so that was sort of where the idea came. And then all of these things just came together and I'm creating a series of videos. I'm hoping the next one is going to be uh, painting Ayla's lips or painting Ayla's hands, you know, my way. And I'm happy to share how I'm doing it. You know, every little stroke will be there. And, and uh, so that's what I've done. And I'm really hoping that people will check it out. Yeah. Now that's brilliant. Um, I've had a look at the trailer and it's very high quality. You've got a couple of cameras going, lots of different angles. It's very obviously a video that's been made by a painter. You know, some of these videos are not made by painters. They're made by people who make videos and they don't kind of show the sort of things that artists want to see. Um, whereas you, you, you know, you do and the resolution is very high. And in a way, it kind of demystifies the uh, this kind of hyper hyper realistic uh, way of painting so yeah i think it's brilliant it's f i think you said it's four hours this first one just the i one mm -hmm. and it's at the moment it's only i want to say 49.99 but i think it's actually 50 dollars, isn't it <laughs> i you know i mean how many things are 49.99 and 50 but that's so much cheaper than 50 dollars it really is. It really is. I just was like, okay, I know it's 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 not supposedly the right way to market and write your copy and all that, but I just thought it's really kind of silly at this point. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, yeah no, it's I, great value. I, Fifty dollars for what you get is it's incredible, and I I'm guessing that it's not going to stay that price. That's a kind of uh, introductory kind of price, uh, I imagine. Now, how long it stays at that price, I don't know. But am I right? It's not going to stay that that uh, price for for um, ever. Not forever. No. Um. My right now. I mean, this video is being uh, recorded uh, prior. Um. I have it for fifty dollars up until Memorial Day, which is a few days from now, and um, and after that, the actual price is for three hundred. But a lot of people have been, you know, sort of giving me information on what the price may should be. And yeah. so I'm kind of looking at this as a much bigger picture. Um, and the community that I've developed, and I already have about 10 people uh, in my community at Podia, um, that, you know, keeping it small and priced well um is going to be able to hopefully bring more people in and yeah. outside of you know TikTok and instagram and facebook and all of those things i don't know they're we it's wearing me down i know i'm not alone <laughs> you know and and you put we don't we all we put so much effort in and the return on our time seems there is no return on the time that I put into it. And I put a lot of time in. So yeah. I thought yep. I'd rather have a group, tight knit group of people where we can communicate with each other next to the videos and talk about them. And, and you know, it, it is similar to some other um, 
um, Podia is similar to other crowd. This is not a crowdfunder uh, type of site, but it has a lot of the elements and it's behind a paywall. So, um, well, paywall, you pay for the movie or excuse me, the video, and then you have access to everything that's there, including some other free things. It's not just the video. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And you can they can interact with each other and there's kind of discussion boards and that kind of thing. I, I'm yeah, guess yeah, I had a quick look at Podia. As you say, there's quite a few of them around. Um and they're all they all do roughly the same kind of thing. It's more how um generous they are to the creators than <laughs> that's the same, the main difference really. Yeah, yeah. Well one of the reasons why I went to Podia, there were a few, um is one of the main reasons why is that it's really hard to host 20 gig file on any of these. They want you to make it smaller. They want you to bring the resolution down and that defeated the purpose of doing this. You know, I'm hyper real painter. I want people to see those details. Yeah. So I was able to break it down to five megabytes, excuse me, not megabytes, five gigabytes for each of the movies. So there's, videos there's five of them and just broke it apart that way yeah so that was really important and it was um also less expensive to do it on this site from anywhere else you get charged yeah. a monthly fee you don't get charged for anything else yet i can do zooms talk to people really have sort of this rich yet simple environment and uh um, I have to thank Dina Brodsky actually for this, where she, I was doing her Instagram course um, a little while back and I saw that she hosted on it and I had asked her about it and she says, oh, you know, we really like it. Da, 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 da. And so I looked into it and um, it's a really good fit. Um, yeah. That, so that's, you know, one of the reasons why I went to the, that place to host my videos. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Well, I wish you uh, the best of luck with it. It's a it's a great thing what you've done and it's a great resource. So if you're listening and you want to if you if you haven't heard my chat with uh, Nadine, my long chat with Nadine, it's episode 234 if you're looking for it. Um and you'll see if you if you're not familiar with uh, Nadine's work, go and have a look at that and you'll see the sort of work that she does. It's it's I was going to say it's unreal, <laughs> unreal, <laughs> hyper realistic. <laughs> but uh, no, it's so good. It's really good. And to be able to get a it's almost like you're in the studio with Nadine as she's painting and she's, you know, giving you her secrets. Uh, it's very good. So, yeah, uh, definitely Please. recommend it. I'll put a link in the show notes to it. Um, and if you got if you if you don't want to bother with that, just go to Nadine's um instagram or whatever social you know her from and you there'll be links from that so if you are interested and you go to um you follow along the links and you go to nadine's thing and you find that the price is different or you know it's changed um drastically or you know like just reach out to nadine tell her you yeah. heard about it on the podcast and she will look after you Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No, I thank you for letting me sort of say that part, because I wouldn't want people to go there and see the full price and uh, be like, well, wait, she said $50. <laughs> so I think yeah, well, uh, I hope people will take a look at it and uh, we'll see. Thank you. Yeah. Well, somebody could be listening to this in, um, you know, two or three years time. So I'll just sort of say that. <laughs> That's why I add well, that in, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. The beauty of making these videos um, is that they're there all the time. They're just, they're there even a year or two from now. So it'll be, um, yeah. so it's all yeah. good. Thank you. Brilliant. Okay, well, best of luck with it. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, thank you, John. I appreciate you letting me, you know, talk a little bit more and uh, we'll talk again. Lovely. I've never felt this good in my entire life. Make me some spaghetti. Actually, I'd prefer a cup of tea. <laughs> a cup of tea would be lovely. So, yeah, just a little reminder, mainly because every second or third person who becomes a patron has got in touch with me and said, you know what, I've been listening to your podcast for ages, 
and I didn't become a patron, not because I don't have the money, not because I don't think it's great, I just didn't get around to it. So this is a little friendly reminder that if you'd like to be a patron, you'd like to buy me a cup of tea, go to patreon.com forward slash John Dalton, gently does it, all one word, or follow the link in the show notes to become a patron. I would really appreciate it if you could do that, particularly if you've been meaning to and you just haven't got around to it. It would be great. It would mean a lot to me. All right. Thank you. Bye. We are the Argyle Pimp. So buy us a drink. We're better than you thought, but not as good as we think. We are the Argyle Pimp. So buy us a drink. Come on, buy us a drink. Come on, buy us a drink. We are the Argyle Pimp. So buy us a drink. We're better than you thought, but not as good as we think. We are the Argyle Pimp. So buy us a drink. Come on, buy us a drink.